Okay, so I'm going to uh, show you how I design WordPress icons. Uh, this one is a WordCamp tickets icon. So first thing I'll do is go into Photoshop and create a new file. Uh, it doesn't really matter what size, 640 by 480 is fine. And a um, couple things about when I'm working on icons. I like a grid, so under my Photoshop preferences, under Guides, Grids, and Slices, I choose a grid line every 8 pixels with 8 subdivisions. Another thing is I make two windows. So let me make a new window for this. Window Arrange, New Window for Untitled 1. I'm going to put these windows next to each other. Now in this window, I zoom to 1600%. Then I go to View. Guides. I'm sorry, it's uh, show grid. You can remember those later. <coughs> so the idea here is that when I draw shapes in this zoomed in window, I can see what they look like at 100% in this other window over here. So, for instance, if I was to draw a rectangle, I would see it over there as well as nice and up close over here. Also, I make sure that snap is turned on, snap to grid. So let's start with this uh, WordCamp icon. It's for buying tickets, so it's a plugin where you can buy tickets for WordCamps. So I'm going to just draw a ticket, and uh, I'll start by creating a kind of a rectangle. And I'm going to take two chunks out of it with the ellipse tool using the minus shapes here. So I'm creating a perfect ellipse by holding shift. And I'll draw another one down here. So you can see over on the left side, the ticket is uh, shown at its actual size, but over here it's uh, blown up. Now if I go into the uh, shape color and choose white, I can't see it. But what I usually do is add effects. So let's do uh, a stroke. We're going to do a one pixel stroke inside. We'll change the color to 45%. And we're going to add a uh, color uh, gradient overlay. Reverse it. And maybe 15% or so. The last thing I do is an inner glow of white. Blend mode should be normal. And two pixels with 100% choke. And what this does is it adds that little kind of white highlight around the, uh, the shape. And we'll go opacity 100%. Okay, so there's a basic ticket. The tricky part is that I've only got 16 pixels by 16 pixels to design this, so um, I can't make it too detailed. I was thinking about putting the WordPress logo inside, but that's going to be a tough one because the uh, the size of the uh, the 16 by 16 is going to make it really small. But let's try anyway. Uh, first, I'll rotate this 45 degrees to make it more tickety. And you can see there's a problem when I rotate it 45 degrees. The ticket is too big for the 16 by 16 pixel area. So I know that this has to come down in size. So using the white um, selection arrow over here, drag the select tool. I'm going to just highlight the top uh, paths for my ticket. Just make it one pixel smaller. So the ticket looks a little bit squatty now, but uh, there's not a lot I can do about that. So let me just rotate it and see what it looks like at 45 degrees now. Okay. Um, I don't think it looks that much like a ticket. So let me undo that. It might be that these two circles are too big, or maybe they're just too um, intrusive. If I move it up the pixels, you can see that it move this one down a pixel. You can see that over here, the uh, ticket seems maybe a little bit more realistic. Um, let me try making them a bit smaller. Now this is interesting. What happened here was that my circle that I'm cutting out with is three pixels wide and a 
it's not aligning to the center of the ticket. So how do I get it to align to the center of the ticket? If I move it over a pixel, now it's too far to the right. Yeah. What is halfway? So I found that at 1600%, if you use the arrow keys and move the shape over, eight clicks is half a pixel. So if I hit the left arrow eight times, I've moved my circle over halfway. So now it's halfway between uh, the edges of the ticket. Let me move it up a few pixels. And I'm just kind of looking over on the left window to see when it looks about right. That looks pretty good. So this one I'm just going to delete. So I'm just going to option drag this one up to the top. Okay, so maybe this looks a little bit more like a ticket. So let's try rotating it. I don't think rotating is a good idea. Let me just rotate it 90 degrees. Maybe that's what's bad. Um, let me take this whole ticket and I'm going to make it the exact size of the height of the window. So instead of rotating this ticket 90 degrees, <coughs> We're just going to, uh, I mean, instead of having this 45 degree angle ticket, we're just going to do a 90 degree ticket just because we got to fit that WordCamp logo in or WordPress logo in here. So we're going to hit it a little higher. And these dots could probably move to the left a little bit. So let's keep playing with them. All right, that's looking pretty good. So that was the tricky part, is getting that WordCamp logo in there, or WordPress logo in there. So. Let's start by making a circle for the logo. So I'm going to make an, a circle selection. And uh, I'll fill with the gray. And I'm going to go select, modify, and contract by one pixel. Delete. I've got a circle inside there, and I'm going to get a, a WordPress W here. And I happen to have a W that I cut out from the rest of the WordPress logo in Illustrator. And I'm going to copy that. And I'll paste it as a shape layer. It's important for it to be a shape layer because I'm going to have to tweak the um, vector points to get it perfect. So. Uh, scale it down, use this window to scale. So I'll switch back over to this window. Scale it even more. It's probably not going to work. Yeah, it is impossible to see that W at this size. So I'm going to have to cheat a little bit. Let's go back to this uh, circle. Let's eliminate that. <coughs> Let's try another circle. This time we'll use a shape. And uh, we'll fill this with gray. And we'll make the WordPress W white. Scale up that W until we can just barely make it out. Maybe this circle needs to get bigger. All right. Now let's get these. Uh, these these circles are starting to invade too close into the uh, the Ws. So let's try and slide these out a little bit. It's getting there. Let's 
play with that W for a little bit. So I'm going to zoom way in on it and um, just really tweak these little vectors until they're just right. And uh, we're looking over here to make sure that that W is nice and clear. Okay, now here's the ultimate test. I go get Nancy and ask her what the heck this thing is. So, hold on. What is this thing? Um, it's a ticket. And what's inside the ticket? Uh, a W with a black circle in the middle. Nice. Alright. So we passed the test. Okay. Alright, so now that the um, ticket's done, Let's uh, add some a little bit more subtlety to it. I'm going to go to the um, shape that is the ticket and command click on the vector mask thumbnail. And I'm going to make a new layer and using uh, black and white foreground background, I'm going to go to a gradient of black to transparent straight up from the bottom, select, modify, contract by one pixel, and delete, and then I'm going to drop the opacity to say 20%, and I usually use the up and arrow, down arrow keys to get this just right. Sometimes I put a little drop shadow down here, but I don't think this needs it. Ah, if we want to do that, we can. I'll draw a little uh, rectangle. Fill it with black on a new layer. And do a filter. Blur, motion blur. Four pixels is going to be two pixels on either side of that section. Again, drop that opacity way down, 20% or so. Okay, so I think that's about the best as I'm going to be able to get this ticket to look. I might try another one where the W isn't in there. <laughs> 